Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm, go I'm going to talk about what is JUnit. JUnit is a simple open source framework to write and run repeatable test. It is an instance of the XUnit architecture for unit testing frameworks. JUnit, originally written by Eric Kama and Kent Beck, has been important in the evolution of test driven development. Benefits. What are the benefits you will be having using JUnit? Unit testing belongs to test a single unit of code which can be a single class for Java. Please remember JUnit means if you have a class and there are a lot of methods, JUnit is useful to test independently a unit of code. In the, men, in the sense a method, a single method independently you have to test. There are a lot of methods, test methods you can write with different combinations to test only one method. Okay, if there is any dependency to the other classes, you should mock the classes and you should try to independently test single method alone. Okay, JUnit helps us to code and test both during the development. JUnit ensures that the modification of the code will not break your system without your knowledge. So. Um, so someone is writing some code and and during the build you you will try you will know if he, whether he, the new changes broke the build or not. JUnit helps to test legacy code automatically. See, legacy code means before two years someone has written the code. Now you don't know what uh, what uh, what was written and you don't know what is the logic. So it is really a uh, time consuming to do testing automatic uh, manually so in order to in order to do it automatically you can use JUnit test cases and it is really less time consuming so I've written a small program called calculating the factorial when you pass an integer it will try to calculate if it if you're passing less than 1 and greater than 12 it will throw illegal argument exception so how do I test this I'm going to test only this method even if I have multiple methods in this class, the the aim or the goal for JUnit test case is to independently test a method. Okay, test a method. So I have written here multiple uh, multiple test test methods in order to test this code. So a lot of combinations. If I pass zero, what happens? If I pass one, what happens? If I pass 2 to 12, what happens? If I pass negative value, I am expecting an illegal argument exception. If I pass more than 12, I am expecting illegal argument exception. So these are the these are the combinations I am trying out for a single method so that I will be confident this method will work properly. Okay, So I am going to run this now. Let's see how exactly it works. Jane, it helps a lot to build your confidence. So once you run and you see the green bar, it will be really helpful. So I am going to run it again. There is some issue. Uh, let me solve that issue. So I'm just building it again. Yeah, so there was some little problem, but now we are able to see the green bar. So this is the purpose of in test cases so once you see the green bar you, your confidence will build you are, you are sure that okay whatever combinations whatever integer you pass it will try to validate and this method is covered properly so all the five methods are passed 
Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.